Hey folks, it's Henry from Step by Daddy Barbecue. You guys are in for a real treat today. I'm here with one of the owners of Blood Brothers Barbecue. Uh, I'm the pit master and co-owner. So I started this journey with uh, two of my longtime friends that we grew up, that I grew up with uh, since like middle school, uh, Terry Wong and Robbie Wong. They're actually brothers, um, and I'm the blood brother. So yeah, it's been it's been an awesome journey. Um, couldn't think of better guys to do this with. Yeah, it was actually a crazy idea. We never even set out to do it. Um, you know, I was doing something else. My partners owned a bar. It was just, you know, backyard cooking and grilling led to one thing and from there it just grew and then, um, you know, doing festivals and stuff like that. We built a pretty good following and people were clamoring for us to do something. The right opportunity came along and we pulled the trigger. I think with us, you know, we like to have fun with what we cook. You know, we do the Texas Trinity, um, you know, brisket, ribs, sausage, but then we take it, you know, a lot of our items we think outside the box. Uh, we use a lot, you know, a lot of people like to think we just do like Asian influence, Asian fusion barbecue, but I mean, we do Caribbean dishes, Mediterranean, just anything, you know, growing up in Houston, it's so diverse. We just took the flavors we grew up, love eating and just put it on traditional cuts of meat and it's, it's worked out for us. To cook me personally, honestly, I like uh, our house made sausages. Um, I, you know, it seems simple, but it, you know, we can get real creative with it, do a lot of different crazy ideas and stuff it into a casing, smoke it, and eat it, and it's been great. Uh, here is our pulled pork jerk tacos. We run those on Saturday, basically do a jerk marinade with pulled pork. We serve it on a curry tortilla with a mango slaw and a pineapple habanero sauce. Do you have any specials I, specials I missed today? Oh, um, that I should definitely try and talk about, uh, tell the world about it. We have, uh, like today we do the steam buns. Uh, so we take brisket burn ends, toss it in a hoisin barbecue sauce, stuff it in steam buns with uh, cucumbers, pickled jicama, and some green onions on top. So oh, this is what? our goju jang glazed pork ribs. Um, typical St. Louis style, smoke it, we glaze it with a goju jang sauce, which is a little sweet with a hint of spice. Top it with sesame seeds and green onions. These are just our regular pork ribs with just a dry rub. We have our pulled pork here, uh, turkey, brisket, um, jalapeno cheddar sausage, hot link. Then we have a jalapeno roasted cream corn, uh, smoked gouda mac and cheese, and our brisket fried rice. So every day, uh, you know, we have our typical menu every day, you know, brisket, ribs, sausage, uh, turkey, our half chickens. Um, but every day we also run a dozen featured items that change every day. Um, like today we do a French strip sandwich from a smoked prime rib, a beef and cheddar sandwich from a smoked prime rib also, the brisket burn and steam buns, um, a bird and biscuit, which is our play on a turkey pot pie. So what, what makes you happy? Uh, to put a smile on everyone's face when they're eating our food. You know, if I can make people happy through their stomach and uh, yeah, just cook what we like to eat and hopefully pass that along to our customers and our friends and family. And as long as they're happy, we're happy. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at bloodbrothersbarbecue.com. Uh, we're open Wednesday through Sunday from 11 to 3 p.m. or until we sell out. I get to try some Blood Brothers from Houston. This is the real one. After my little episode trying Blood Brothers in Vegas, I'm gonna be ready to try the, the real one. So let's start with the size today before we move to the main course. Here's their famous brisket fried rice. So they don't have to get their fingers dirty. So since I'm gonna be trying a lot of food here. This is good fried rice. Uh, it's got a lot of brisket trimmings in it. And uh, great flavor. So thumbs up on the brisket fried rice. We try the uh, 
the uh, mac and cheese. This is a uh, home home style mac and cheese. Great chef. The color is, it looks a little bit light, but flavor is fantastic. Uh, I get the cheesy flavor. The uh, individual pasta is just nice and tender, a little bit al dente. There's a fire roasted corn, kind of like a corn, cream corn. And you can see the char on the uh, actual itself kernels. So it's charred, super look, good looking. Sweetness of the corn, a little bit of char. Just a good, well balanced flavor. Doesn't have a very strong flavor, but really pairs very well with the rest of the food that you're going to be having as side dishes. Let's go try now the uh, uh, mustard barbecue sauce. They have their own brand here, mustard mustard sauce. So I'm going to try. I'm going to start with this one here, the famous uh, SWAT sauce, which they use the gochujang. This is the uh, famous gochujang rib that they make here. Uh, membrane attached for those of you who are out there asking. So there's the membrane. Beautiful looking rib here. And it's got a like a Korean style uh, bean spicy mokgojujang sauce. Take a bite of that. It's not sweet at all. Uh, you got a hint of like a bean paste on it. Nice bark and char. The uh, scallions and the sesame seeds really set this apart here. Let me take another bite. The texture is of that of a regular rib, but flavor profile. Not sweet, has a little bit of a like a soybean miso type hint to it, not very, very strong. Uh, overall, very, very interesting rib. I've never had a uh, Korean style gochujang rib in a restaurant before, so thumbs up on the ribs. Oh. This is the bird and biscuit. So we used our smoked turkey. It's basically our play on a turkey pot pie. Turkey pot pie uh, and bird and brisket. Uh, and no, uh, a biscuit. Yeah. Biscuit, or oh, right, yeah, a regular biscuit, brisket yeah. and uh, house, a house made yeah. biscuit. It's with a turkey, way. like turkey pot pie oh, filling. Wow, so okay, that looks absolutely yeah. amazing. Can't wait to try it, man. Yeah. Th thanks a lot. Enjoy. Okay, all right. There you go, little special treat here. And uh, for special for tomorrow. Nice smoke ring, nice bar crust. Beautiful bar here, very nice and tender and soft. And this has been sitting out for a little while, so it's just a tad dry, but I can imagine when it's sliced from the rack, it looks absolutely superb. And flavor is there. Very peppery Texas style rib. Very good. All right, moving on to the turkey. Turkey looks pretty really gorgeous here. They, they didn't soak it in any uh, finishing clarified butter, but give the turkey a shot here. Nice and tender. All right, there you go. Very moist. Good turkey. Very, very standard Texas fare. Nice thing while they're having gloves is you can do this. Nice and plating. Beautiful pork. All right, that. A nice spice to it. I'm tasting hints of cumin, so it's got a little bit of a, like a cumin flavor. So it's kind of like a little bit of a cumin crusted full pork. Let's try it with some sauce now. We'll try the uh, sweet mustard barbecue sauce. The SWAT, SWAT sauce. I guess this is, must be the uh, barbecue sauce. Let's try it with this barbecue sauce. Maybe the uh, mustard sauce first. Okay. Alright, sauce is a uh, mustard bean. Uh, not very sweet, doesn't have a lot of uh, tanginess to it, but kind of a very mild, subtle flavored mustard sauce. Not too sweet, not too tangy, but that flavor, the mustard comes through. Also the pe flavor, the pepper comes through. So overall, very neutral foil of a sauce that you can pair with pretty much any kind of meat. So I kind of understand his, the thought process behind the sauce. Let's move on to now the uh, SWAT barbecue sauce, which is their store sauce. We use a pork because pork is really a good way to test uh, sauces. When I test sauces at home, when I'm making them, I always use a pork or chicken, so it's a very more neutral taste. Here's, here's how it looks like. Shot. The uh, swat barbecue sauce, not tangy, not a lot of vinegar, a little bit of tomato based in there, a little bit of smokiness to it. So again, very neutral sauce, no, no, no strong flavors, just good old Texas style barbecue sauce, not too sweet. All right, let's move on now to the sausage. So here, here's the two sausages. I'm gonna try them one after the other. The regular Texas style sausage. All right, so the cheddar sausage is very good. A very neutral flavor. Uh, very good Texas style cheddar sausage. Uh, let me, second bite. Now moving on to the 
Fils de la Resistance, which is the brisket. So I'm gonna try the bird ends first. Bird ends are here. Look at that beautiful bark, crusted, super soft and tender. So, so Blood Brothers have redeemed themselves from the experience I had in Las Vegas. So this is no compare to the Blood Brothers in Las Vegas. Night and day different. So bird ends, not too smoky, very light smoke, beautiful bark, super tender, moist, morsels of beef heaven. And here's the point, here's the flat, the fatty. Looks very, very good. Beautiful, like a quarter inch of fat on the top. Do a full test here. Perfectly tender, absolutely gorgeous. Get a bite here now. Yeah, and I like to eat my brisket with the fat on. So, so you get a little bit of fat and a little bit of brisket. That's how it should be eaten in my opinion. Overall, Blood Brothers, A1 thumbs up. So if you are ever in Houston, you want to try some great Texas style barbecue, with an Asian flair, you gotta go check out the nice folks at Blood Brothers Barbecue. And uh, here's the uh, little muse item he brought me. And this is a biscuit, kind of a pot pie. And uh, it's made with a biscuit, pot pie with brisket, I guess. So, very creative dish. The biscuit is slightly sweet, so it's got a savory taste to it. Got bread crumbs on top, scallions. And I was wrong, I think this is uh, looks like turkey here. So it's a turkey. Maybe brisket. On a cold day in Houston, it was uh, 39 degrees last night when we were trimming briskets uh, for the uh, catering job we're doing here for 600 people for waste management. This would have been a welcome dish. Some warm brisket, turkey, hot pie, smoked on the pit. Wonderful. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by, checking out my episode at Houston Blood Brothers Barbecue. They were so kind to give me a platter here. Uh, this is the unbiased taste test. I did pay for this food, so it's not biased, biasing my opinion. Food is fantastic. If you ever come up to Texas, you definitely want to try Blood Brothers Barbecue. There's no doubt in my mind that that's how they made the Texas Monthly Magazine by Daniel Vaughn, made the top 50. Food here is fantastic. Also the creativity, the innovation, and the riff on their Asian roots is absolutely very refreshing. Even though Texas is a state with ribs, brisket, and sausage, there is room for innovation and for the folks that are trying out they bring their traditions to Texas barbecue. I totally welcome that because that is going to expand the whole evolution of the revolution of barbecue in Texas. Thanks for stopping by guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.